Hey YouTube, it's Dory here, and today I'm coming to you with another Battle Pet Farm. So this one's going to cover the Battle Pets you can obtain over Children's Week that can be sold on the AH, so that's 8 out of the 10 pets, plus an extra bonus pet which you can get on each character when you're doing a class trial. So that's 3 pets every character. I'm going to be showing you the most efficient way to do them. I will be covering both the Horde and the Alliance, so it's a pretty long video. I'll have a little skip button below to get to which part you want to see, either the Horde or the Alliance. And yeah, like I said, there's going to be a bonus pet. One is for Horde only, one is for Alliance only, and that's why we're going to be making a uh, Goblin Mage first, very important. So we're just going to go ahead and make our class trial. Hopefully this name isn't taken, which it isn't. We're just going to let this process, and then away we go. So first off, we're going to be starting on the boat, so we're going to want to portal to Orgrimma. And once we're there, we're going to be learning a few portal or teleport locations to help us get around with these two quests we're going to be doing. Um, so basically, we're going to be learning Thunder Bluff, Shadow of City. Um, I've got to try and remember all of them now, I keep forgetting. I'll wait, wait to see the list. I should be able to remember once I see the list. So I've just done it on a few different characters. I was able to get a lot of pets. I will quickly show you guys my spreadsheet. This is again available for everyone to use. So these are the eight pets which we will be farming. Um, and you can see the price in US and, uh, oh, let me just scroll it up actually so you can see the price. So you can see the names and the uh, US regional price and EU regional price and all of these. And uh, on the spreadsheet, it will show you what I've sold in the last five weeks. So you can see I've actually sold a Mr. Wiggles and an Egbert. Um, I actually didn't have a lot of them to sell prior to that, so they're not, you know, something that doesn't sell very quickly. They do sell quite fast. Um, the first thing you'll notice is that legs is the most expensive. Does that mean it's the best to get? Probably not. Everyone's going to make a gold card like, quick, everyone go buy legs, it's the most expensive. That doesn't mean it's going to sell the quickest. It may be better to get legs, yes, but you do want to cover all the pets in my opinion because... Like I said, everyone who watches this video is going to be like, oh, legs is the most expensive, let's go get that. And a lot of other people will be making guides on how to obtain legs. And, um, you know, you really want to cover your all bases, in my opinion, and get as many pets that you can sell. The more pets you have, the more that will sell. Um, we do also have a event pets tab down the bottom. You can't actually see it, but there is some tabs down the bottom. Um, and this will have, which you can get from each quest. So every character, you'll be able to get one of these four and one of these four. So as you can see, I do have quite a lot of these already. Um, that's actually not correct. Like, I know why that's not correct. I have to update that. That is okay. It's just the lookup score in there. Whoops. Let's not touch too many buttons. So I do actually have four of those. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get stuck into this. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is just open our spell book and we're going to be porting away. So this one going to teleport to Orgrimmar. Now the reason you want to make a mage is for obvious reasons, this quest is 90% flying around. Um, it's really simple, it's not really hard, it's just literally fly to this location, summon your orphan, fly to this location, summon your orphan. It's not difficult. The Alliance ones are very similar uh, to the Horde ones, just flying around. So the next thing you want to do is learn portals. So be very careful you don't actually click the portal because it's hard to actually click this vendor. As you can see, everything I want to do is... Oh my goodness, I cannot actually talk to him. Alright, so I did I did originally make this video on my live stream, but I wasn't happy with the way it went. So I'm going to do another one now, but as you can see, clicking this guy is a lot of the challenge there. Alright, so we're going to want to go to Silvermoon, so we're going to learn Portal to Silvermoon, Thunder Bluff, Undercity, and then we also want to learn Teleport to Shatter a City, and I'm pretty sure that is all of it, because we don't have enough gold to learn the Portal to Northern. You can send gold across, it is going to make it a little bit quicker. Um, because we do need to go to uh, Caverns of Time, but what we will be doing is just taking the portal to Orgrimmar and then going to Autumn and flying across like that. But without further ado, let's get stuck into this quest. So the first thing I'm going to do is be flying to the Orphanage. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit because we're really close in. Um, so again, you can do this on class trials, um, as well as every character. So each character can get um, two of the Children's Week pets, uh, one from each of the quests. And then if you're making a class trial, that's where we can get the bonus pet. So I'll show you a little bit into the stream um, or into the video to how we're going to obtain that. But the first thing we want to do is going to quickly speak to our orphan. They're going to give us three quests. One is very close nearby. The other is to go to Undercity and as well to um, Thunder Bluff. So we're just going to fly to this location and start the quest. So as you can see, we need to go to Asara, which is just a straightforward flight here. 
So I'm going to be speeding up the video now and I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so we're going to come to this little two-seater here. Um, I'm not sure if you have to sum your orphan or not, but we'll do it to be on the safe side. So all we're going to do is, so we've flown to Ashara by the way, we're just going to click the Red Hound two-seater and then it's about 45 seconds of role playing. Um, so I'm just going to speed this part up until we get to the point where this ends because there's literally no input required and I will be with you guys shortly again. So we have now finished the quest here, we're just going to wait for our guy to land and now we're going to be going to Thunder Bluff. So we're just going to use a teleport Thunder Bluff and as you can see making a mage makes this a lot easier otherwise we'd be hurting a lot to Dalaran and taking portals there. Um, so this is again very simple, we're just going to hurt to Thunder Bluff, mount up and pretty much fly for a few seconds and we're going to get to, I think it's Red Rocks it's called, um, and then we're just going to summon the Orphan. There's no real role playing at the next one, so it's pretty straightforward, really quick and easy. So I'll show you guys where we're flying. So we just want to fly out this cave first. Do, 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 do. All right, and we're just going to be flying to the side over here. So again, I'm just going to speed this up while we're flying, and I'll see you guys once we get there. Okay, so basically we're just going to summon our orphan. He's going to run around here. We've got two quests to hand in now, so we'll quickly hand in these two. And then next one, we just need to go straight to the Undercity. So we're just going to again teleport Undercity. Um, once again, we're just at the Red Rocks over here. Pretty straightforward. Once again, we're going to teleport to Undercity. We're going to fly to Sylvanus, which I will show you guys how to get to because some people obviously might be making a class trial from Alliance and don't know how to get there. And it's a little bit of a trickier one. So we will show you guys how to get around Undercity. Uh, we're just going to wait for this to load real quick. But once again, this is super easy being a mage. It just makes everything so much easier. Alrighty. So here we go. We're just going to come in at the magic quarter. We're going to want to fly around to the green corner. I don't know how to pronounce that. Apothequarium. I'm not sure. I'm terrible as soon as the names get too long. Uh, so we're just going to fly around and the entrance is right here. But a lot of people sometimes get a bit lost. So we're just going to wait to get there. So right here is where we want to go. And just straight down the middle. And then once we hand in this quest, we get a, another two quests. Um, one is to go to the Caverns of Time. And the other one is to Orkruma, I believe. I'll just double check. I've been doing these so much, I just keep forgetting because I've been doing Alliance and Horde. So just going to summon him here. And there we go. Actually, these are both all Grimmer. Oh, this is easy. I'm thinking the other one is um, the Shadow of City one is the one that takes us to um, Silver Moon City and also Shadow and Caverns of Time. So we're going to teleport back to all Grimmer. I actually don't have it on my bar. So teleport all Grimmer. And these two quests are super easy. You just need to buy a few things from the vendors, which we should have enough gold to buy everything. Alrighty. And then uh, this is where we're going to get the extra pet. Now, a lot of people won't be doing this as well. So I'm pretty sure no one has a guide on how to get the pet, including Children's Week. Um, again, you need to make sure you're a goblin mage. So the goblins have the awesome advantage of buying a pet from a vendor that costs four silver uh, which is called Matty right here. Now this pet, the Shore Crawler, whoop, wrong one, we're going to just want to go interested in catching a pet. You can get one per a goblin and that's it. So you can only get this once. So it's a Shore Crawler, we're going to learn that now real quick, make sure I don't have too many. Okay we've got two out of three and as you can see the regional market price on these is huge. All right so the Shore Crawler where are we? Down here. Let me bump that up a bit for you guys so you can see. So the shore crawler here, which you can see I've got four, is worth 19k on US realms and 15k on EU realms. It is insane and literally it costs four silver and um, super easy to get. The Alliance have a similar one. It is worth slightly less, um, which I'll be showing you guys how to get very shortly. Um, no matter which faction you play, I recommend getting half and half. Because uh, I think you can make eight class trials a week or ten. I'm not too sure. So four or four or five or five. We'll see how we go. But that is what we've just got there. We've already got that pet done. It's that simple. Um, like I said, we need to be goblin. And the other advantage of doing it too is this is where we need to take our um, orphan for the next part of the quest. So it's not out of the way. It's just included in the flight path kind of thing. Super easy. We're just going to buy this ice cream and then eat it. And then we just need to go to the toy vendor. So that quest is complete. And then we need to buy two things from the toy vendor. And then we are done. Um, the Alliance quest is a bit different, which I will be happy to show you guys. Same with Shadow of City. They both have different versions of the quest. So I'm going to include both. So after this, we're going to be going to Shadow of City and we'll be completing the quest there. 
um, which is really quite, it is straightforward. I have worked on a few little shortcuts to try to make it quicker for everyone. So this is the little vendor here. He does walk around, as you can see, up and down here. Pretty straightforward. Also a little tip, these two toys, uh, the green balloon and yellow balloon, they're only available during Children's Week and they count towards your achievement. They cost eight silver, so make sure you buy both of those as well. Uh, so we want to get the kites, summon our orphan. Now you want to be quite quick here because he's going to run around. So as soon as you do this, you want to hand in the quest and get the next one. Okay, so the next quest requires us to buy a foam sword rack from the same vendor here. Once we have that, we're literally going to choose our first pet. So that is it. That is how we get the pet. Really simple. I'm not too sure what time I started the video, but it was pretty quick. Um, and this is now two pets completed. So I'm just going to have a quick check and see what pets I have. So let's go to the event pet screen. So you can see I've got 233. Three, so I might get another Mr. Wiggles. It's not the most expensive, but like I said, that doesn't mean it is going to be the slower selling. As you can see, I did sell a Mr. Wiggles um, in the last five weeks, where the other ones I didn't, but because I'm pretty sure I didn't have one. So the piglet's collar is Mr. Wiggles. Um, uh, that is Speedy, that is Whiskers the Rat, and that is Scooty the Snail, I think it is. So we're going to get the piglet's collar. So we're just going to hand in this, get the piglet's collar. And it is that simple, we learn the pet, now it's on my account, I can learn it on a different character, cage and whatever I want to do. That is done. So that's the horde side of the quest. Now we're going to head and do Shatterer City. So we are going to port to Shatterer next. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have all the portals I need. Hopefully I haven't forgotten anything. Worst case scenario, we can always come back and relearn them. So we're going to go to Shatterer City now and uh, start that one. So once you've ported to Shatterer City, again you're just going to want to mount up. And you want to head to this little building right here. I always fly the wrong way. And this is where the quest will begin. Uh, again, it's very similar. You get three quests. You do them all, you get two quests. It's pretty straightforward. One, one for the Horde side is going to take us to Nagran, Sangamash, and then to the Hellfire Portal. Um, then Silver Moon and Caverns of Time. And then we're done. So we're just going to summon our Blood Elf Orphan Whistle. All right, let's get all these quests. And the first one we're going to do is head to Nagran. So it's literally just the next zone across, and we're going to be heading right here. So it's going to fly there now. Um, there are two more pets which you can obtain. Actually, I'll mention that at the other end of the video, just so both Horde and Alliance can see how to get them. They're just not tradable, so to me there's no value in them because I can't sell them. But I will probably still obtain them just for the collection side of things. So we're just going to fly straight there. I will skip to when I get there. I'll see you guys shortly. Here we are. Again, we just need someone our orphan. They're a little bit different because you actually need to hand them into the person here. Um, so there we go. We're done. That's it. That's all we need to do. We have done this one here. Next thing we're going to do is head to Zangamash. Uh, so it's just going to be a quick flight over here. And once again, I'll skip when I get there. So you get, once again, at Nagra, we're just at the Throne of Elements near the Horde flight path. It might be a little quicker to take the flight path. Um, but again, once again, it's whether you have it or not as the last trial. I'm actually not too sure. So we're just going to fly across into Sangamash, and I'll see you guys once I'm there. And this is the Sporogar one. Once again, we're just going to summon and the quest here. Super easy and completed. So the next quest wants us to go to the uh, Dark Portal. So the quickest way to get there, um, once again, the advantage of being a mage, we are going to teleport to Orgrimmar, which I could put, or you can teleport to any of them, they all have a portal, but Orgrimmar know where it is. And we're going to take the portal from there, uh, right next to it, to Hellfire Peninsula, which is going to take us straight to the Dark Portal. Um, so this is again another reason why class trial mages are so much more superior than any other class at travelling around, unless you main a mages course, so that's pretty convenient. So if you're in Orgrimmar, you just want to quickly mount up, it's just over here. And that is how easy it is to get to the portal, whereas most other classes will be flying across. So you just want to come here, the orphan does run to the staircase, uh, so I do recommend just getting close to the staircase, just to save you a little bit of time. And we're just going to hand in and start the next two quests. So we need to go to Silver Moon and Caverns of Time. Now the first one we're going to do is go to Silver Moon. So once again, we've already learnt the portal teleport location. So off we go. Um, the Alliance version is just to, what do you call it? Exodius, I think. They do have an extra component to the quest though, um, the Alliance. They do have one more little quest chain. I'm not too sure why, it's pretty odd. But um, it's all in the same city, so it's not too much more difficult. Um, so once again, in these areas you can't fly, so that is slightly annoying. So we're going to have to mount up and run to where we've got to go. So now we're in Silver Moon City, we just want to run to the Walk of Elders, so you just want to follow the path down, and then I'll show you guys once I'm there what we need to do. See you guys soon. 
Alrighty, so once we get back here, you want to take your orphan kind of just to the edge of the step here, and then he'll do a little bit of role playing. Um, this does take about 10 to 30 seconds, it's not too much of a deal. The next part we need to get to um, Caverns of Time. Now, this is the one that I'm kind of stuck at, at the best way to get there. Um, obviously, if you have, um, if you're one Ted Mage, you can just teleport to Delaran, take the portal in the center of Delaran, or get to Old Delaran. Um, you can also send some gold across, but I just couldn't figure out how to get enough gold even with bending my bags. So I usually just fly across from Aldum, I think it's called, um, which I'll show you guys very shortly how to do. So we're just going to teleport back to Orgrimmar shortly once this guy's done his little air guitar part. Actually, we can even save time. Ready? We'll go maximum time efficient. Let's see, where is it? We'll make our portal to Orgrimmar. Oh, he's already done. Well, we won't do that then. So we'll just teleport back to Orgrimmar. And then we're going to take the, what do you call it, Cataclysm Portals uh, to Autumn. And then we're just going to fly across from there. It's, I think it's one of the quickest ways. I mean, obviously, if you can get to either of the Delarans, it's going to be a bit quicker. So, I mean, I could have my other account logged in where I've got a mage and obviously port this tune across. Hindsight would have been very handy there. Um, but we're just going to fly up and head across. For, you know, for people watching who doesn't have, don't have that luxury of having a mage that can port you there, um, this is probably the second quickest way to get there. So the Autumn Portal is the one on the far left here. And then it's literally just fly straight across to Caverns of Time. Uh, we need to buy a thing from a vendor halfway down the thing there, which I'll show you guys how to do. And um, then just go to the Dragon and then we're back to Shadow City and we're done. So we're really close to finishing both of these. Again, it's really not taking too much time. We're going to have three pets. Um, and the value of those three pets can be up to, I think, 100k, just about on the Horde side. Um, maybe a little bit under, about 80k. And they should, they will probably go down a little bit while the event is on, and they should kind of balance a bit. But like I said, everyone's going to be going for the most expensive ones, so don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, as much as I've never understood that saying, because it makes sense to put them all in one basket, but we're not going to do that here. Um, so this, straight up, we're just going to go straight across and right to the way the little one is. Um, I will speed it up or skip to there. So I'll see you guys when I get there. So here we are at the little portal thing. We've just flown across. If you are lucky enough to get a port to Delaran, it will take you right here. This is where you'll come out. So what we want to do is fly uh, all the way to the bottom, but we need to make a stop on the way. We need to buy a toy dragon, which will cost between 80 to 95 silver, depending on your reputation with the Caverns of Time, I believe it is. Um, so you need to make sure you have that gold as well. If you try to buy a portal or whatever, you need to make sure you have the gold for that. Um, so we're just going to fly, it's right near the bottom, and then the vendor's just to the left. Um, also guys, I will be doing a 24-hour stream soon. I will uh, probably mention it a little bit more. I'll be doing another one. This one's going to have some giveaways every hour. So they may be trading card game pets, um, uh, subscriptions to my Twitch channel, as well as some other things, got some other ideas. But here's the vendor, Alurimi or something, I don't know. And you just want to buy the Toy Dragon. As you can see, it's 80 silver. On my Alliance Hunter though, it was 95 silver, so I'm guessing reputation plays a part, but apparently I'm neutral here, so I'm not too sure. Maybe they just don't like Alliance, I'm not too sure. Alright, and then we just want to summon our orphan right next to the dragon's head, um, and the quest will complete. And that is pretty much all the quests we're going to do on the Horde side. As you can see, now we have a choice of a Sleepy Willy Legs Training Collar, which is, I forget the name of that one, uh, Egbert, what's that one called actually? Oh, Peanut. So that's Peanut. We might actually get a Peanut. I don't have a Peanut yet. So uh, we're just going to accept that quest. And then, of course, we're just going to teleport back to Shadow City. So as you can see, this is really easy, really quick. It's taking me, I believe, less than 20 minutes to get all three done. Um, if you go off the highest regional market values, it's obviously like 40k. It sure calls around 20k. So that's 60k. And then you could get a Whiskers the Rat or Scooter the Snail for 22 uh, so we're about nearly 80k for 20 minutes work. Um, the prices will definitely bounce back up after Children's Week, uh, especially because there won't be another one until like seven or eight months into Battle for Azeroth. So hopefully there'll be some new players looking to collect pets along other amongst other things, and they'll be looking to buy our pets that we'll be farming. So my goal is to actually farm at least 10 to 15 of each. So hopefully I'm able to do that. So we're actually going to grab Peanuts because I don't have them yet. So we will quickly learn him. And we now have Peanut. So that's kind of cool. Let's have a look at him. 
that's a pretty cute little peanut. I'm pretty happy I bought that. So now we're going to add it back into my spreadsheet so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And we now have a peanut learn. So obviously there's a few other pets we need to learn, learn along the way. Like we don't have a wheelie yet, which is really weird. It's I don't know why they would have Children's Week and then name a pet Willy. Like it just seems really inappropriate. But there we go. That is it for Horde. You can now delete this class trial. We've done everything we want to do. And then now I'm going to make the Alliance part of the video. So if you're done watching me for Horde, thank you so much for watching the video. And yes, there will be a 24-hour stream coming up. And I will be giving away trading card game pets. So as you can see, I have quite a few of them. I've been leveling them up to 25, so I'm giving away level 25 trading card game pets. You can see the values are among 400k, 200k. I'm not too sure which ones I'm going to give away yet, but we'll see how we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, hit the like. If you haven't, you know, comment below, let me know. And also make sure you catch me on Twitch, guys. I am aiming to get 500 followers by the end of May. I'm currently at 311, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, it's only May the 1st, so still plenty of time, or May the 2nd, depending where you live. Um, but yeah, guys, a light, stay tuned to see how you can do the other part, or anyone looking to do obtain the hidden alliance pet stay tuned guys because that's coming up next uh, i'll see you guys very shortly I'm just going to quickly make a class trial all right actually i'll just probably leave it all in one video so we're just going to hang tight here we go with the alliance part of the video now so we're just going to log out we're going to make and this one is very important it has to be a worgen mage so very important guys the next part worgen mage all right so welcome everyone who is leveling the alliance guys we are going to be making our class trial now so we can now delete easy pets and we're going to create a new character so it has to be a Worgen Mage, guys. So Worgen Mage Class Trial. Customize. I love pets. Frost and finish. Oh, that is taken. Okay. Pets is life. Okay, it doesn't make much sense, but it doesn't need to. It's just a class trial. All right, so that is now boosted. We're looking good. Now, I haven't actually done a class trial run yet on Alliance. I have done the quest chain, so bear with me. Hopefully, I remember to get every portal. I know we need Exodia, Darnassus, um, Stormwind, and Ironforge. I'm pretty sure they're the four portals, and we should be able to do all the quests. So, fingers crossed, if I do make any mistakes, those, we can just learn a portal. It's really easy, not too complicated. Alrighty, so again, once again, we're just going to uh, take the portal to, it should be Darnassus, I think, actually, which is fine. Um, okay, so we'll go teleport, Dynasis, and at the vendor here, we will be learning um, Exodius, Stormwind, and Ironforge, or Exodia, I'm not too sure what it is. Um, Exodius, I'm pretty sure, from Yu-Gi-Oh, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, and then we'll be getting the quest from Shadow City, we'll do, actually we'll do the Alliance one first, so we'll go to Stormwind first and get that one done. Alright, so we'll pop that down here, so we want to find the Portal Trainer, I don't actually know where it is, oh there it is. Much easier to click than the Horde one, guys, if you remember watching that part of the video. It took me a long time. So you want to get Exodia, Ironforge, Stormwind. Um, obviously, and Shadow City. Don't forget that. I nearly did. Okay, so we have all those. Again, if you do have the gold to get this one, it is definitely worth doing. As you can see, I actually don't have much gold. So I'm guessing they cost a little more for Alliance, for whatever reason. But worst case scenario, we can bend our bags. It's going to give us an extra six gold, so we shouldn't have too many problems. Alright, so again we've got that. So we're going to start off because we're going to come back here and that's where the other pet is. So we're going to be as efficient as possible. We're going to Stormwind and we're going to start the quest there. Um, so the Stormwind Orphan Village kind of thing. Orphan, what's it called? Orphanarium? I don't know. I can't remember what they call them. Oh, that's going to bug me. I feel like I've got that wrong. Anyhow, is in the Cathedral District in Stormwind. So we're just going to quickly run or fly there now. Uh, and the, it's kind of just in the side there. So this has been since vanilla. I haven't done it as Alliance until I did one character just before. So we're just going to mount up and fly across there now. All right, and zoom out. I hate how zoomed in they expect you to play. You can't see anything. I have to admit, Stormwind's looking much better than it used to when I used to play Alliance. All right, so the reason you want to do it on Horde and Alliance is because there is a class-specific pet which we are obtaining by doing these class trials. So we're just going to start the quest. It's very similar. We're going to speak to our orphan. He's going to give us three quests. Uh, I think one is in Westfall, uh, which is the kind of it's kind of similar to the uh, Ashara one where you flew around a little bit. Okay, and then we want to go Ironforge and then back to Darnassus. Now, when we go to Darnassus, that's when we're going to pick up our new pet. Um, so it's a little bit different to the Horde one, it's not as close together, but it still will work out pretty much the same. So in Westfall, we want to actually head to Sentinel Hill. 
I'm not sure if we can actually fly there. I will just quickly check because it shouldn't cost too much. And we need to make sure we have enough gold to get everything done. Now let's see if we can fly to Sentinel Hill. We can. Okay. So we're just going to fly to Sentinel Hill for five copper. And I will see you guys once I get there. Here we are. We've taken the flight path. Didn't actually take too long, which is good. And then we're going to want to go to the little chopper vendor here. Again, I'm pretty sure we don't need some now orphan, but we're going to do it to be safe. And then we just want to hop on the rental chopper. And similar to the rocket for our alliance, it is just going to run around and do its little thing. Um, one thing I did notice though, if you watch the role play on both of those, the horde orphan is super brave and pushes the limits of the machine and takes charge, whereas the alliance one is a little wussy and he's so scared of everything that's going to happen. It's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, just watch the thing and see how you go. But I'm just going to skip to the end of the chopper chain and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm there. I finished that quest. Super easy. All you have to do is sit there and go pretty much go AFK, so you can go to grab a drink or whatever. Uh, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to go to Ironforge. So once again, we did learn all the portals, hopefully, and we're just going to teleport to Ironforge. We need to go into old Ironforge here, so if you don't know how to get there, I will be showing you from new Ironforge. It's pretty much just underneath Ironforge. It was actually blocked off in vanilla, and you used to have to kind of exploit to get there, um, like get feared through the wall kind of thing. It was really weird, but now they've seemed to have opened it up, which is kind of cool. Um, and then we're going to go to Darnassus, and that's when we're going to get the uh, secret alliance pet. It's not really secret, but I can assure you I have sold one of these, and again, it only cost me four silver, and I made at least 10k profit on it. And this is just super easy to get. Uh, I usually just make class trials to obtain these pets. I'll probably do a video just specifically on them down the track, but in the meantime, this is how easy the Ironforge one is. The only downside is you can't actually be mounted when you get into old Ironforge. So you just want to head to where the king or whatever of Ironforge is, and then just turn sharp left and go down here. So like I said, you can't actually uh, mount in here, so it adds a bit more time. I was just gonna see if I could open my spell book and get Blink out. Oh, this is the first one. Okay, here we go. I should spec into Shimmer or something, shouldn't I? There we go, get the extra Blink. Alright, so we're just going to run up the stairs now, and once again you have to get your orphan out, but if you do it right in the middle here, I believe it completes the quest, so here we go. Alright, so we're just going to hand that in, and then now we're going to go to Darnassus, so we did learn that hopefully. Oh no, we, have to, we already had it. Oh, mini heart attack there guys, I was like, oh my god, what have I done? Okay, so we're going to teleport to Darnassus. And then we're going to see Malfurion, which is in the starting room. And then we're going to take a short little flight path slash detour. And we're going to get a Gilnean Raven for four silver. And I can assure you in the last five weeks, I sold one for 5k. And I did not actually... Oh, we're going to run this way. Oh, I accidentally blinked twice too. That's a bit of a shame. Alrighty. So we're going to want to run up here and uh, have a chat to Malfurion with our little orphan dude running around. So off we go. But yeah guys, so I will show you in the spreadsheet uh, how much it's worth. I'm actually not too sure. I think it is worth a little bit less than the Shore crawl, uh, Crawler. But again, four silver into, you know, even if you sold for a thousand gold, it's still worth it. Um, and if you do just want to make a class trial and head across, just walk in, you come straight here and it's really easy to get to. So here he is. And then this will complete the little quest. It will give us two more quests as well. I'm pretty sure actually this one, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we just go and do very similar to the ones in All Grimmer. We're just going to go to Stormwind and complete those two. But first we're going to get the extra pet um, just because of efficiency. So you don't want to waste your class trials. So this way we're going to get an extra pet included. So it's three pets per class trial. So to get there, all you want to do is head to where the flight paths are. And it's going to be a little kind of like, it's a portal, but it looks weird. So this little purple thing here, you're just going to walk into it and it's going to port you out. Um, and you can actually fly across now. I, I believe you couldn't previously, but you can just fly across and you want to head to uh, Lord Danell in Darkshore. So just straight across like this. And um, again, we're just going to be looking for the pet vendor. Speak to him, it's going to give us four silver. I'll actually just speed this up a bit. You do get fatigued, but don't worry, you won't die. So we're flying into the little city now. You just want to head to the right hand side here, and there'll be a Worgen dude. So because we are Worgen, we are able to learn one per character. Again, it's 4 silver, 75 copper. We're just going to train that real quick. 
and we now have our Gilnean or Gilnean Raven. Now, if I head across to this, because we want to add it into my spreadsheet, I actually don't know if I added my shore crawl. I'm going to have to go back and check that. So we're just going to search Gilnean Ravens. Here we go. We now have two of these. So as you can see, I do need to go farm more. And I did sell one for, a, I think it was about 10,500 I got for it. But literally four silver 75 copper into 10k is insane. Definitely do this, guys. It makes the farm so much more worthwhile. And then now we want to go to these quests. So we're just going to go straight to Stormwind and um, finish up. And then we're going to have our first pets for the Alliance site. And then we're going to head to Shatterart where there is a slightly different quest chain. Because instead of a Blood Elf, we're going to have a little Drain Eye Orphan. So... Just wait for this to load. So we're going to go buy ice cream and some kites now. So again, having shimmer definitely helps. You get the double blink. So you should probably just spec into that. It does make it a little bit quicker if you really want to be super time efficient, which I'm all about efficiency. So hopefully if you guys see anything I could have done quicker, please let me know. Uh, so here is the ice cream vendor really close to where we're going to go. Again, we're just going to get Kona cold. We're going to wait until we get to the next thing again. Um, we're just going to buy some kites as well. So this guy walks along here. He does also sell both the balloons as well. And um, so that's pretty cruisy. All right, where is he? Oh, apparently he's over this way, but I remember finding him over there. I see, no, he's over this way. Okay, so where are we? Okay. Maybe he walks further than I thought. All right, so hopefully we'll find this guy very shortly. There he is. Alrighty, so we're going to buy our dragon kite. And once again, you can see the balloons. I'm not sure why everything's costing more. I'm guessing because I'm not sure I'm walking. I'm not too sure. So we're going to get our orphan out. We're going to eat our ice cream, give him the kite. So he's happy about that. Oh, actually. So we want to hand in these quests real quick. Oh. It appears if you do it too quick, you bug out that thing there. So we're just going to have to wait for our cooldown. And um, see how we go, because apparently you can't eat ice cream and flag high at the same time, as they might be two-handed activities. So just going to quickly wait. I wonder if I buy another one. It should be on the cooldown as well, but like, oh, it's unique. So just going to wait five more seconds, and then we're going to try to use it again. Okay, here we go. Let's fly our kite. So there we go. We learned something new there, guys. So we're just going to complete that quest and get the next one. And then once again, we just need to buy the swords. And we're going to quickly fly across. So as you can see, I'm running a bit low on gold on Alliance side. But that's not too much to worry. Like I said, we can just put our bags into our bag and sell them for six gold extra. So we're going to hand in this here. And we're going to get our choice at a pet. So we'll have a quick look at our spreadsheet in our events pets. And see what we need. So we're doing these ones here. So we've got three, 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 and four. So I guess we'll just grab another Whiskers the Rat. I nearly said cat for some reason. So we're going to learn an extra little Whiskers the Rat. Um, and we need to go back into Sales, Children's Wheat, Whiskers, and bump that up to four. Okay, so that is that all done and dusted. That's the Alliance side, all good. Now we're going to head to Shadow City, and we're going to start the Alliance version of the Shadow City quest chain, um, which is, again, quite similar, but does involve us going to different locations. Uh, in my opinion, a little bit more fiddly than the Horde version, but you do want to get the Gilnean Ravens, so I, you know, you can easily do it as both. All right, here we go. So once again, we're just going to fly to this little place here and get the quest chain. He's going to give us three quests. The first quest takes us to Terrica Forest, then Nagrand, I think it is. I'm not too sure. We'll see. And then the Dark Portal, which we have the little skip to get to as we are a mage, which makes everything so much easier. Alrighty, so we're just going to grab these three quests. Okay, it's actually a bit sad, this one. So her brother is currently, like, chilling um, with the people at Arius Land Landing, so that's kind of sad that they're not together. They're both pretty young kids. Anyway, completely un completely irrelevant. So we're just going to fly it straight to the middle of where Shadow Labs and all that is. So I'm just going to skip forward there, and I'll see you guys once I get there. Here we are. We just want to head to the Summoning Stone, and we're just going to summon our little orphan. And then they do click the portal and say, oh, help me do this, but you don't need to. You just need to hand the quest and fly off. Alrighty, so we're just going to mount up and fly, head to Negran next. And we want to go to the landing over here. So once again, guys, if you don't feel it is worth your time doing the Alliance portion of them at the start or whatever, you don't have to. You could seriously just skip and do the Shadow City ones. 
But like I said, if you stock up too much on one pet, you're not going to be able to move it as fast as having a wide variety of pets, um, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so that's just you know my personal opinion on that one. So we're just going to fly across here and hand in the quest. So I'll skip to when we get there. Here we are just at the Torsium, I think it is called. I cannot. The Consortium Rep Farm, guys. So we're just going to summon our orphan here and we're going to introduce her to her brother. Which is, again, super easy. And they just do their little reunion thing. And then now we're going to be taking our portal to... You can take it to anywhere we'll go. Ironforge, I think that's going to be pretty close. Because we just need to take our orphan to the Dark Portal now. And then we're going to have the Caverns of Time, which is the same as the Horde one. And then we need to go to Exodia, which there's actually a two-part quest there. Which is a little weird because the Horde don't have any of that. But at the end of the day, it's going to be pretty easy. So we're just going to want to take the portal to Hellfire Peninsula. Hopefully, this is the right one. If not, no, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, it is. So here we go. We've got the orphan here. They're going to get the quest. Whoops. They do run to the end. We're just going to get these two quests. And away we go. So we are going to head to the Exodia real quick. So we've got the portal already. We've let the orc start. Makes it nice and easy. Going to send a little gnome girl into the fight because apparently she's going to win the fight for the alliance with a, with a piece of wood with a nail sticking out of it. That's great. All right, so we're going to go to Exodia now, and we need to run down to the bottom. So we're going to mount up and head straight in. And then there's a little two-part quest. Now I am a pet seller on Horde, so there is another stop we can get to get some pets. I actually stopped there and got 30 pets. Because I now sell on 10 realms. If you don't follow my streaming, you might not know that. Um, and on those 10 realms, I want to have like one of each pet kind of thing. So I brought 30 because there's three different pets there. So we're just going to run straight down to the end here. I'll show you where that pet vendor is on the way. In case you would like to buy some pets as well. They sell the moss and they're only sold at this vendor here. Uh, on our spreadsheet, we do have a tab with a list of every single vendor that sells pets. Um, which you guys can check out. So hopefully we get there shortly. This feels like you just run down here forever. And once again, like Silver Moon City, you cannot fly. All right, here we go. We just want to take our orphan here, completes the quest. Oh, we need to hand in the quest here. All right, and then we need to go and hand in the other part of the quest. So we just need to go see the, oh look, I feel good apparently. We're going to go see the Darkseer over here. He is kind of hidden, not really. You need to run up like a ramp. Um, it did take me two seconds to figure out where he was. I had to put a marker on his head to find him. And um, we're going to run past the vendor on the way. So this vendor sells three moss. Um, and they do sell quite well. I have sold one in the past. And I actually didn't have any stock of any of the other ones. So it's definitely worth stocking up on. Like I said, the more pets you have on the OH, the more pets you're going to sell. Even if they're 500 to 1,000 gold, they're literally costing you 50 silver. So it's not really too much of an investment. And... It's very time efficient, so this whole Children's Week process, I've tried to streamline it to make it as time efficient for me as possible, because time is money, friend. So we're just going to head across here. Nearly took a wrong turn there. Okay, and the vendor is literally right on the way here. So it's like, like I said, everything is just lines up perfectly for us pet farmers. All right, so the vendor is right here, I'm pretty sure, or it might just be up here. Right, there she is. So her name is Six, and she sells three moths, which you can stock up on. So the yellow, blue, and white moth. The regional price vary from cage and uncaged. I obviously cage everything because it is easier to... It's the only way to take and cross realm. Uh, and then we want to walk up here, and apparently... Oh, he's moved. Okay. When, when I did it before, he was standing over there. I was really confused. All right, so we're just going to hand the quest here. Uh, they do do a little bit of role-playing. Which we might have to wait, actually. Oh, no, we don't need to wait. We can just go straight to Caverns of Time now. So that is all done, dusted. Now, to get to Caverns of Time, again, we have to take the portals from Stormwind to Ulam and fly across. Unless you had enough gold or found a way to get there more efficiently than this. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. Because I did ask my stream when I was making the video. And we just couldn't think of any other way better than this. So we're going to head there now. Let's blink, blink. Alrighty. So the portals for Alliance are over here, so we're going to fly across and then we need to make sure we have enough gold for the dragon, which we do not at the moment, so we will have to sell one of our bags. Apparently that one's not empty, here. let's try that. There we go. And that will give us the gold we require to buy the toy dragon. 
and then we will be able to choose again from Willy, Legs, Peanut, or Egbert, which I might get a Willy on this tune because I don't have any Willies yet, so we need to make sure we get one of each pet. Because like I said, everyone is going to look at the prices and be like, oh, this one's the most expensive, it's the best pet to get. That doesn't always you know, mean it's the best pet. You really want to look at how quick they're going to sell. Um, if everyone has that mentality, everyone's going to be buying legs and it's just going to kill the market anyway. Uh, another good thing about my spreadsheet is you can check the rarity of them, which you'll see I think legs is the rarest on all the accounts, but only just, uh, where are we here? All right, we are missing some on that list, I think. Oh, no, there we go. So you can see 19% of accounts have legs. Um, and then the other rarest is Whiskers the Rat, which is sold from the other vendor, I'm pretty sure. And so on and so forth. So you can see the percentage of players who are in the pet. It isn't 100% spot on because obviously you can have up to three of each pet, if not more. You can have more of that if when they merge the accounts, you had like eight of them, that you would still have eight unless you cage them since then. Uh, so we are now in order. We're going to head across and do this long flight again. This is probably the uh, most time-consuming part, so I'm going to skip this forward. Um, then I have a bit of an announcement at the end. And yeah, thank you all for watching so far, but we'll skip this forward and finish up what we're doing. Right, so here we are. Once again, if you took the portal, it will take you here. And we're just going to fly down and buy our toy dragon, take the little orphan to the big dragon head, and we also need to sell one of the Ampersil bags because we have run out of gold. So this is... The most efficient way to do this, um, obviously we don't rely on any other characters, etc, etc. It doesn't take too long, I think I am maybe about 50 minutes in to get 6 pets so far, it's not too bad. Um, if you're counting the highest regional market price, we're looking at at least 150 to 200k an hour. It's really efficient guys, and like I said, it's only available until I think it's the 7th of May. Get the 7th of May and then the event is done. So in Battle for Azeroth, people will not be able to get this for, I think, nine months after release. So we're just going to come here and buy the Toy Dragon, which is one gold now. Like I said, it's, it varies. I'm not too sure what varies it. So we're just going to sell it one of our bags. So I just took it off, stuck it in there, and then we just sell it. Obviously, we get the gold. And then we're going to head in to the Dragon, summon our Orphan, and then we're just straight back to Shadow City. Um, and yeah, that's really pretty much it. It's super straightforward, super easy. And we will get yet another pet. So this will be our sixth pet in this one video. And I have done this in one sitting. It's not taking me too long at all. So I think I'm going to get a Willy this time. Alright, so we want to go back to Shudderer. Um, and then also, guys, if anyone is interested, I will have a little bonus bit at the end, which will show you how to get two from Deloran. Um, because I do not have them personally. So I would like to just kind of get them as well. Alrighty, let's quickly mount up. And we're going to head back to the little orphanage place and get ourselves the willy. So you can imagine all the willy jokes we had on stream with this. It's just really weird that they called it a willy. Alright, here we go. So we're going to get ourselves a willy and complete the quest. And learn the willy. So we now have a willy pet. It is a one eye willy as well. As you can see, it is 13.5, 10k on this realm. Now it's 10k considering the event is currently live. Oh, actually, I don't have updated things on this server. Boo -boo. So anyway, it is still going to sell really well. We want to find Willy and we want to add one into our stock. And then we can quickly check our event pets. We currently only have Children's Week here, but we will be adding each event. And you can see I need to get one Egbert, but apart from that, we're starting to stock up on these pets. And like I said, everyone is going to be flooding legs, so don't put all your eggs in the one basket. All your legs in one basket. No, that's right, that's a really bad pun. And um, make sure you get a few of each pet, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. My little announcement is I'm going to be doing another 24 hour stream really soon. Um, on this stream, I'm going to be doing 24 giveaways, one each hour. And a lot of the items, uh, well, some of the items that I will be giving away will be trading card game pets. So TCG pets. Um, they are level 25, worth 150 to 3 to 400k, really expensive, and I'll be giving these away throughout the stream. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure you head across and stay tuned to my channel. If you haven't already, head across to twitch.tv slash Xtoria, give me a follow, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. If you're interested in how to get the Dalaran pets, now these pets don't sell, so they're not really worth it for gold or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I don't have them, though. Uh, let's have a look. Children's week. So these two here. That's what we're going to figure out how to get next. Uh, I'm going to be winging it for the first time. I've never actually farmed them before. 
but we're going to get them just to add for our collection sake kind of thing. And then we also want to get an Egbert soon. Look how cute this pet is. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. Stay tuned if you want to find out how to get those. If not, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you across at my Twitch. Or, you know, hit the sub button below, hit the like, leave a comment, etc, etc. And yeah, guys, be back really shortly doing the Delaram ones. Now I'm going to cover how to get the two non-tradable battle pets. Just simply, like I said, I don't have them in my collection, and I would like to have them just for the sake of completing it kind of thing. So I can't actually show them because I can't move my thing around, but there is a Curious Oracle Hatchling, a Curious Wolver, Wolver Pup or whatever. So they were the ones from Solazia Basin or whatever in Wrath of Lich King. So we're going to head to Old Dalaran. Um, so to get there, my favourite, well there's two ways you can get there. This is probably the quickest. Um, you just want to go to Vale, turn of Blossoms and take the portal to Dalaran from here. That will take you to Old Dalaran. You can also go into the centre of um, new Deloran and take the portal to Dragonflight and fly across, but in my opinion it's a little bit longer, requires a little bit more effort, and we're all about easy, time efficient, etc, etc. Alrighty guys, so this is the first time actually doing it, so it's going to be a little bit learned as we go, but it should be, I'm assuming it's going to be fairly easy, like the Alliance version, or like the Alliance and Horde previous versions were, so we'll see how we go. Uh, it might be one per character, which I imagine it would be, so we'll have to do this on two different characters, which is no problem. Uh, you only need to do it once, because once you've got one of each pet, that's it. I'm assuming they're going to be a maximum one. And like I said, you can't cage these, so, you know, there's not really too much you can do with them, apart from the people who want to collect them. So I thought I'd add it to there as well. So we're going to head to Dalaran here, and this is where the orphanage should be. I'm not too sure where it is. I haven't looked up a guide, which would have been super smart of me. Let's have a quick look. Children's Week, here we go. Look at us winging it, guys. Alrighty, so... Again, it looks like it's just flying around, flying around, flying around, and away we go. Alright, we're just waiting to load into Dalaran. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to go and find the orphan person over here. There we go. Nice and easy, this is going well. Also, oh, we can get both. Awesome, that's really cool. Alright, expect to... Oh, can I choose both or not? It's not going to let me choose both. Alright, so it only lets me choose one. You may choose to care for an Oracle or an Orphan, but you will not be able to help both. So what we're going to do, that just means two characters. So I will show you all of it. Um, you don't know Biggie. Alright, so we're going to summon our Oracle one first. So it is one of these little dudes here. And they're going to give us some running around quests. Okay, so we're just going to mount up. Uh, where are we? Children's Week. And we let's see, we've got one in, what's that, Boring Tundra. Uh, we got one in Grizzle Place, Grizzly Hills. And we have one in Dragonshire. So what we'll do is we'll go Grizzly Hills, Dragonshire, Boring Tundra. I think that's probably the most efficient route. So what we're going to do is fly to Grizzly Hills. So if you are a druid, you can actually teleport to Grizzly Hills. Much more efficient. My next character will be a druid, hopefully we get to go there on that one as well, because it will save us a little bit of time. But if not, just fly across. I'm going to skip to when I land there. So we are now at the biggest tree. I'm not too sure where I need to take him, it seems to be just in here. And then we'll summon our little guy. And hopefully we can complete the quest. Wait, wicked. Alrighty, so nice and easy, we are done that one. And now we're going to head to... Uh, let's have a quick look at Dragon Blight, just on the cusp of the border here, and go to the Bronze Dragonshire. Again, I will skip to when we get there, just to save time, guys. See you when I'm there. Now we are at the uh, Bronze Little Dragonshire, whatever it is. We're just going to summon our Orphan. Hopefully, we don't need to move him too much. Done. Easy. Whoa. The other dude's here. Alrighty. And now we are going to head to Boring Tundra, just fly straight there. Again, really straightforward, these ones so far. I'm guessing there's going to be two follow-up quests after this, and then we're going to unlock yet another pet. And we're actually quite close to getting the 400 unique pets, I think, at one point. We'll see how we go. All right, anyway, I'll skip forward to when we're in Boring Tundra. And yeah, stay tuned. Here we are at the next spot. So we're just going to jump down here, summon our orphan, and done. Super easy, super quick. And we get two more queen, two more quests. I just read queen at the same time. Multitasking is not my strong point. So let's have a quick look where these want us to go. So one is in is that Angoro Crater. Okay, so we need to go on Goro Crater for that. So that's a little bit out of the way. 
and the other one is just in the middle here. So what we'll actually do is we'll go Angora Crater first, and then we're going to take the portal from uh, Undercity, not Undercity, from Dalaran to Wormish Temple. So that's going to make it a little bit more efficient than flying there now. So we're going to hearth back. To get to Angora Crater, what we're going to do is probably go Alden, and then just fly up, because I'm pretty sure that will be the quickest way. I'm not going to get to see this in time. Where are we? Autumn, Ongoro, yeah, that will probably be the quickest. So we're going to go to All Grimmer and then fly straight there. So just going to wait for this to load. Uh, I'm guessing Alliance is going to be identical on these um, because they are neutral. So I don't believe there'll be any difference. If there is, sorry, sorry, I won't be covering them because there's only one point doing this quest once. Again, a Mage Class Trial might be the best way to do that. Um, so if you do have a mage class trial, it might just pay to send him 10 gold, learn the portal to old Dalaran, and it will probably make it a little bit more efficient. So we're just going to head to Autumn now. So we we go, and then we're just going to fly up. So I'll just show you guys where we're going to be flying, just so there's no questions below. But guys, if you do have any questions about anything, you know, please ask. Hopefully you guys are finding this video helpful. Um, you know, if you are, please hit that thumbs up if you haven't already, as it does help me out a lot. So we want to go Autumn. Here we go. So the one on the far left. And then we're just going to fly straight up into Ongoro Crater. Alrighty, so zoom out. So Ongoro Crater is just up here. And just at the top there. So we're just going to fly straight forward. I'll skip to when I get there. Won't be a sec. So here we are. There might have actually been a quick way to portal here. I'm not too sure. But this was the quickest way I knew. If there is, you know, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to pin it for people who are trying to do this quest at a later date. Alrighty, so now we have to go back here. So what we want to do is go back to Dalaran. So because I'm on my monk, I'm able to go to my class hall and get there. Otherwise, you'd have to wait three minutes. But away we go. Maybe you're asleep. Uh, anyway, so I was just reading what that guy was saying. So we're just going to go to the class hall, go to Dalaran. We're going to go to the middle of Dalaran and take the portal to Dragonblight, which will take us straight to the next quest hand in. And then I believe there should be one more quest to hand these in. Alrighty, here we go. Run, 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 run. Alright, so if you are not, again, Mage Class Trial would probably be really good if you learnt the Portal to New Dalaran, or if you're on a Mage character. Uh, obviously, you can only do get one of these pets twice, so if you've got two Mages on the account, you're pretty sorted. Um, Alright, so now we're in Dalaran, we want to go to the middle. Alrighty. And then we're going to go to... Dragonblight, I think it's called, and Wormrus Temple. I'm pretty pronounced that wrong. I pronounce everything wrong, guys. I do try my best, but unfortunately, it's just one of the things I'm not very good at in life. So here we go, just the middle one right here, and then we're going to hand in this quest. So basically, every single orphan quest is just a running around. So nothing requires any killing, nothing like that. It's all super simple, and we just want to take our orphan summon it right now. Done, hand in. A trip to the Wonder Box. So purchase a small person at the Wonder and then throw it to your orphan. So I believe this one is now back in Dalaran. Yep, so we're just going to head there now. Again, you can take the flight path, which is down below, uh, which I will do. And I'm actually, I believe it's down below. Yep, there it is. Or you could just fly straight across there. And then I will cut to when I get there, guys. So now we're in Dalaran. We just want to quickly and go to the little toy shop over here. Um, this is probably something you could have pre-purchased, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have to hand in to the orphan lady right there anyway, so it's not really too much out of the way. Alrighty. Oh, this one here. So small paper sapling. Summon out our little orphan. Oh, you can't do a weight moving, of course, got a cast time. Well, this one doesn't. Okay, and then we just want to throw the sapling to him. Oh, look, he ran. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Oh, now I have to stand still. I can't move. I guess he's going to throw it back. Okay. Oh, there we go. Quest is done. Complete. Back to the orphanage. So we're just going to return him now. And then hopefully we should get our little uh, pet, I believe. Complete quest. We've had in the quest and what will happen next is we will get the pet mailed to us. So all we need to do now is wait and eventually we will get the mail. Sometimes these usually take about an hour or two. So we just wait and then we will get the pet and that is how we get the Oracle one. So children's week. Oh. 
the Oracle is now done. So the next one we're going to log on my Druid and I'm going to get the Curious Wolf Pup. So stay tuned guys if you want to see how to do those quests. So I was just about to log off and I've just realized I've got mail already. So it took about two minutes. It's not actually even updated yet, so just give it a few seconds, and then we should be able to get, there we go, there is our pet. So it is really that easy, that one was probably one of the easier ones, um, doesn't require too much running around. So here we go guys, my curious little hatchling dude is all mine. So now I have my very own hatchling, I am now going to log on my druid and get the next one. Now we're going to be getting the last pet you can get on Children's Week. So this is called the Curious Wolvar Pup. I probably pronounced that wrong again, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Okay, so to get this, we need to go to Old Dalaran again. So if you skip the first part of the video, you won't know how. So we're going to go to um, Vale of the Eternal Blossoms, which is Mr. Pandaria. And then we're going to take the portal to Dalaran, which will take us to the Old Dalaran, where we will get the quest. Uh, I'm guessing this will work very similar to the last one, where the pet actually gets mailed to you. It did happen a lot faster than I was expecting. Um, I did get a little surprised after about two minutes of waiting. Right, here we go. Waiting, 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 waiting. Alrighty. So these pets, again, cannot be sold, but they do add to your collection. So if you are a bit of a collector like me and would like to have one in your collection, definitely do this. So we want to make sure we get the wool bar one because we already got the other one. Okay, so we just want to summon this one out. Oh, we need to speak to this person. Accept. So it just says you can't choose the two which we're happy with. So we want to get these three quests real quick. Alrighty, and we want to see where they take us. So yeah, Dragon Blight, easy to get to. Dragon Blight again, very easy. And Grismore, so to get here, we are going to use our sneaky druidways. So we actually have a portal to Grizzly Hills at our class hole. So being a druid is really good for either one of these because they both require you to go to Grismore, so the tree. So we're going to come here, and then I can never remember which one it is right there. So we're just going to run through the portal. This is going to take us to Grizzly Hills and cut off a lot of our travel time, which is 90% of these quests. So here we go. Alrighty. I'm not too sure where it actually takes me here. Oh, very close. Okay. So I'll just quickly fly across here um, and get this quest done. I probably won't skip because we're right here anyway. I'm guessing it's going to be the same part of it too, just underneath the little front bit here. Alrighty, so we just need to summon our orphan under here, like this. Complete the quest, hopefully. Well, apparently someone wants to go a little... Oh, there, there we go. Alrighty, so we're just going to hand that in. Mount up, and now we're going to go to Dragonblight. So for the... Oracle one, we had to go to Boring Tundra. This one looks a lot quicker, which is going to be awesome. So we just want to go to the Bronze Dragonshire, which is the same as last one. And then this one takes us to Playmates just here. So it's going to save us a bit of time. So this is going to be really cool. Just going to fly across. I will skip to when I get there. Here we go. So we're just going to summon him again in the same spot. Complete the quest. Super easy. And then we're just going to fly to the next one. It's literally that easy, guys. This is all about flying around and obtaining pets. So the next one is just over here. So again, I'll skip till I land there. So here we are. I'm pretty sure we just summon these anywhere and it will find a friend or something to play with. I'm not too sure. Um, let's just, oh, he disappears the moment you fly. I'm guessing he plays with the pups. There we go. So that is that quest. Oh, I've got two of them, my friend. Oh no, that's just a playmate. Okay. Alright, so now we've got two quests. This one's right here, super easy, and then that one is going to be in... I wonder which nesting ways that's going to be, actually. Let's find out. So that one's just in Celestia Basin. So again, we will... Since we're already here, we're just going to fly to this one. Usually I'd just portal to it, but we are literally like a 30 second flight. So it's just going to be the same as the Oracle one, and then we're going to want to head to Celestia Basin, or whatever it's called. Um, again, there's a flight path there, so it's probably just going to be a flight path from here to there. Pretty cruisy. And then I'm guessing we're back to Dalaran, which we will Hearthstone to and get this completed and unlock all the pets. So it's going to be 12 pets in total included in this video, guys. So 10 Children's Week pet plus the two bonus pets, which I showed how to get already. So you're just going to hand that in and then let's go get a flight path. Oop, let's not hit that. All that. Alrighty. 
we do not have the flight path, so we're going to have to fly across the old fashioned way. But here we are, again we're just going to summon our little orphan. Same thing we've done the last 30 times, it's pretty straightforward. Now let's run forward a little bit here. Oh, he's running all the way to nesting way, okay. So he's going to complete. And then we need to go back into Deloran. So to get there, we're going to hearth um, to New Deloran, Portal to Eternal Veil Blossom, and then take the portal to Old Deloran, and we will be able to finish up the quest there. And we're pretty much done, probably about another minute to go. So let's get this done it real quick. Oop, stuck on a flag. Lots of loading, lots of running, but the, ideally these quests are super easy and you have the potential to add 12, hopefully 12 pets you don't already have to your guide by watching this video, to your dungeon guide thing or whatever it's called, pet, pet journal. Alright, here we go. Alrighty, and Dalaran. And then we're going to just go to the shop, get the sapling, throw it back and forth, and then hopefully get our thing in the mail nice and quickly. Alrighty, here we go. Oh look, someone else is doing them. Alright, so let's summon our little orphan and throw him the little toy. Okay guys, so hopefully you have learnt something new or you know found this video helpful in one way or another. Um, if you have, please hit the thumbs up. If you've watched the whole thing, I'm very impressed. This video took me quite a while to make, so hopefully it has been helpful to a few people. Um, and hopefully you guys were able to obtain some more pets. This will definitely be a good way to make money. Um, I have sold two of the pets in the last five weeks, and a lot of them I just didn't have any of. So if I'm able to get 10 to 15 of each, which is my goal, it's going to take a lot of time, a lot of class trials, and a lot of running around in my characters, but the payoff will be there in the long run. And the more pets I get, the better. So we're just going to wait and hopefully get the mail very soon. Uh, the last one took about two or three minutes, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, but yeah, guys, once again, head across to my Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash Xtoria. Um, give me a follow. Uh, tune into my streams. I stream six days a week. Uh, I usually start around 7 p.m. GMT plus 8 time, which is my personal time, and I usually go to about 2 to 5 a.m. my time. So they're, you know, they're usually pretty long streams. Um, as I've already mentioned, I will be doing a 24-hour stream soon, which will include 24 giveaways, which will range from TCG pets slash um, subscriptions to my Twitch channel, and amongst the other things. We're still working out on the giveaways. If you have any good ideas about giveaways, you know, please let me know. As you can see, I have just got an email as well. Uh, it will just take a few seconds to show up in my mailbox, though, as they refresh every minute or whatnot. Uh, and this is going to be my 12th pet I will be able to obtain in this world event. It's super crazy. Obviously, 10 are the world event pets. Two are kind of the bonus ones I added in. Uh, if you count the moss, we got up to 15. So definitely, guys, it's all about efficiency and getting them all done. I'm super excited to get these pets. And boom, there we go. We now have the curious wolf thingy -o. Let's see. There he is. So let's summon him up. And there is my new little pet. All right, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you everyone for all the support, all the new followers and subscribers on Twitch, YouTube, and whatnot. Um, hope to see you guys next time, and stay safe.